The first field of the assessment summary is that of assessment investigator or actor. So this is the person, the name of the person that has done the assessment. This is most often yourself because you're doing the assessment now, you're filling it in and you've probably done the, the image analysis or something like this just before. Um, but it can also be someone else. For example, if someone else has done the field assessment and you're just typing in the information in the database. Well, to choose the name of the person, I click on the field and I get a long list of names. And what's important to know is that it's a bit different from what it used to be before. So before it was just a drop down list or a free text list, a free text field rather. Uh, but now these are all linked to person or organization resource records. Um, to find uh, the correct name, I'm just going to type it. In this case, the digitization was done by Rebecca Banks. So I'm typing in Banks and I get multiple um, results. Um, it's obvious that we need to do some cleaning here, but I'm not going to worry about it now. And I'm just going to choose this format because this is the format I, format I would like here. And this has added uh, the investigator name. I could delete it again by clicking on the bin here. I could click on this and change the relationship between the person organization record and this heritage place, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave the defaults. Finally, I could click on the edit pencil. This would bring me to the person organization record of this person. But I'm not going to do any of that now. Uh, I'm happy with it as it is but I'm going on to the role. This is um, quite self-explanatory, but as always, um, if there's a drop-down menu with terms, there is uh, a glossary which has all these terms and what they mean in it. So you can always refer to the glossary if you would like more information. In this case, Rebecca Banks was Amina project staff uh, when she did this, and she still is affiliated, in fact. Um, so I'm going to choose that one. Then I'm going to choose what sort of activity she did. So I'm not just going to go for the general desk-based assessment, but we want it you know, a bit more detailed. And what she did was she digitized essentially the survey report. So I'm going to choose literature interpretation and digitization. The date of the activity it was uh, in the past. So I'm going to go to the correct date. Actually, it was all the way in 2015. September the 18th. So I looked this up beforehand. And in this case, you can see this switch. This is also something that's new in the database now. Um, but in this case, because it was a literature interpretation, um, this is not relevant, but I will talk a bit more about this in a minute. For now, um, I've finished all these fields and I'm going to add this investigator. Once I've clicked on the add button, this has added the assessor, the investigator, and you can see this in the card tree over here. You can also see that there are two additional fields or field groups that have been added that I can now fill in if this is relevant. The first one is that of Google Earth imagery acquisition date, rather. So which date was the Google Earth imagery from? In this case, this is not relevant because I have not used Google Earth imagery, at least not for this assessor. The second one is the information resource. So if a specific information resource was used for this assessment by this assessor, then I can add this information resource. I should not add it if it's just an information resource that relates to the record in general. In that case, I'll do this later in related resources. But in this case, actually, um, this was a digitization based on a specific report that of McDonald's 1988 of the Wadi Hassa survey. So there is actually a specific information resource linked to this specific assessment. So I'm going to add it. So I first looked up in the search um, how to, what, what the number is. And you can, uh, you can watch the video or the two videos on searching if you want to know how to look this up. So I'm going to type in the number, um, that I know is the information resource that I want. And I'm going to click on it and this has added it. And it gives me the same options as I explained before. Um, there is a specific 
date, which is really relevant for imagery. So I don't need to add it here. There's not a specific um, date of acquisition of this resource, even though it was published in a certain year, but I'm not going to add this here. So I'm just going to edit like that. And you can see it appearing in the card tree. Now, in this case, um, Rebecca Banks has done the digitization, but I have done the image analysis. So I'm going to go back to assessment summary and I'm going to add 